The 2017 BMW M6 makes an excellent modern-day grand touring car, it's heavy for the track, but it relishes chewing up highway miles. You don't buy a BMW M6 for its subtlety, it's a car that will grab your attention in any form coupe, convertible, or slick sedan and it shows that you're not here to apologize for excess or expense. It's essentially a flagship of the BMW performance lineup, although that's a phrase that could be used for several different models. We give it a rating of 8.2, for its astounding performance and deep bench of available features. Read more about how we rate cars. Don't think of the M6, which is largely unchanged for 2017, as anything but a grand touring car aimed at eating up miles on a straight or curvy road. If you're looking to slide around a race track, BMW's M2 or the larger M3 slash M4 are better choices. But the M6 is roomier and more comfortable, meant to conquer long trips not road courses. The tail of the tape is deceiving when it comes time to look at the specs. According to BMW, the M6 coupe weighs a hefty 4,250 pounds, adding two doors to make the M6 Grand Coupe adds 180 more pounds. The M6 convertible's weight balloons even further and clocks in at 4,515 pounds all before passengers have sunk into the car's sumptuous leather interior. The M6 is relatively long at 193 inches, 197.5 for the Grand Coupe, fairly wide at 74.8 inches, 82.9 inches for the Grand Coupe, and relatively cumbersome with its 41-foot turning circle. BMW M6 Styling and Performance But don't be duped, the twin-turbo V8 makes up for all that and then some more. Under its long hood, BMW packed in a twin-turbocharged 4.4-liter V8 that cranks at 560 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque, which is enough to run to 60 miles per hour in a mere 4.1 seconds before going all the way to a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Pick the M driver's package and that figure climbs to 186 miles per hour and you get a free driver's training course, which seems like a good idea on BMW's part. That power is delivered via lightning quick 7-speed dual-clutch automatic, or, and this one's a rarity, an honest-to-goodness, 3-pedal 6-speed manual. BMW says they'll hold on to manuals until the bitter end. The automatic made a better option here not only because of its rapid-fire cog swaps, but also because the M6's wall of thrust at 1,700 revolutions per minute is a lot to handle if you're commuting in traffic. Power is sent through an electronically controlled multi-plate limited slip differential and shifted to the rear wheels exclusively. The M6 has carried over largely unchanged since its debut in 2012, and that stays the same for 2017. Wider rear and takes up front and blacked out slats in the company's signature kidney style grille are only part of the M6's story. At the rear, quad tailpipes that bookend the unique rear diffuser relay the V8S snarl to innocent bystanders. The M6 rides on 19 or 20 inch alloy wheels as standard, with staggered width tires back to front. The M6 is 1.2 inches wider than a standard 6 series, and its flared wheel arches that barely cover the Z-rated performance tires only bolster its menacing narrative. Last year, the standard 6 series received a modest mid-cycle refresh limited to a revised grille and front-end appearance. But don't go looking for those changes on the M6 as they were mysteriously kept only to the 6 Series. Maybe that's because the M6 is such a low-volume model for BMW that the automaker didn't see fit to invest in minor updates or maybe they were simply happy with what they had. M6 Coupe and Grand Coupes feature natural carbon fiber roofs with a racy channel that looks kind of like a 90s era, par down the middle hairstyle, only way better, thankfully. Convertibles offer a choice between a black or beige soft top that can be put up or down at speeds up to 25 miles per hour. Inside, the M6 is, as you should expect at this price point, a wash in leather, carbon fiber accents, and available wood trims. The center display stretches 10.2 inches as standard, and is operated via BMW's iDrive, which has been upgraded to the automaker's latest software for 2017. M6 Comfort features, and safety. Dual zone climate control, 
20-way power front seats with memory settings, adaptive cruise control, and the company's LCD instrument cluster display are standard on the M6, as are red needles and an M badge on the tachometer that help set it apart from the standard 6 series. An executive package, which adds a Bang & Olufsen sound system, head-up display, heated steering wheel, ventilated seats, and active bolsters is optional. Driver assistance plus adds blind spot monitors, active lane control, and surround view cameras as options. Night vision is a standalone option. As you should anticipate in a 2 plus 2 coupe, the rear seats aren't especially useful regardless of body style. Rather, they do a better job of complementing the 16.2 cubic feet of trunk space in the coupe and grand coupe, which shrinks to 12.3 cubic feet in the convertible with the top up, 10.5 cubic feet with the top down. Neither the 6 Series nor the M6 has been crash tested. Standard safety items include driver and passenger front and side airbags, active head restraints, and automatic seat belt pretensioners. Carbon ceramic brakes are optional, but come at a $9,250 premium on top of the six figure price tag. Predictably, the M6 doesn't manage spectacular fuel economy. The EPA rates the M6 with its automatic transmission at 14 miles per gallon city. 20 highway, 16 combined, regardless of body style. At least you'll enjoy guzzling all that premium fuel.